In this video, we'll review the three logarithm rules. To begin, let's look at the log of a product rule. The log of a product rule is this. Log base b of a product xy can be rewritten as the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. For example, if we take log base 3 of 7x, we can rewrite it using the idea that the log of a product can be split as the sum of two logs. This can be the log base 3 of 7 plus the log base 3 of x. The next rule is the log of a quotient rule. Log base b of the quotient x divided by y is equal to the log base b of x minus log base b of y. Here's an example. Log base 5 of x over 7 can be rewritten. We can say this is log base 5 of x minus the log base 5 of 7. When you do a problem like this, the piece that's subtracted will always be the denominator. That's the piece on the bottom for the division. The piece on the top, the numerator, is the piece that's positive. So it's the numerator minus the denominator. The last rule is the log of a power rule. The log of a power rule, log base b of xk, can be rewritten as k log base b of x. Now an example of this one will look like this. Log base 4 of x to the 6 can be rewritten. We can take that x to the 6, which has an exponent of 6, and bring it to the front. We can say this is 6 log base 4 of x. Now this one I want to explain why it is. If we're saying log base 4 of x to the 6, this can be rewritten as the log base 4 of x times x times x times x times x times x times x, six times. Now if we use the log of a product rule, we can expand this as log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of x, so on, six times out. Because we have six of these log base 4 of x's, we can say this is six log base 4 of x. This explains the log of a product rule. Now these three rules may look different, but they really all kind of relate to the log of a product rule. You can all think of it some way that they're going to be basically that rule, just showed a little differently. The quotient rule can be rewritten as log base b of x times y to the negative 1, and then we can think of it as the same thing as that product rule. Alright, so here's some examples now. I've got three examples that I want to go ahead and use the um, rules for logarithms to expand the expressions. What I'd like for you to do is try these three problems, pause the video, and when you're ready, resume the video to check your answers. I'll give you a minute. Alright, hopefully you've had a chance to do these. For the first one, we're going to expand it by saying it's log base 2 of 11 plus log base 2 of x cubed. Now we probably don't want to leave it like this because we can take that log base 2 of x cubed and rewrite that using the logs of a power rule. We can say that's log base 2 of 11 plus 3 of the log base 2 of x. For the next one, we can say this is log base 5 of 125 plus log base 5 of c. Now I can simplify that log base 5 of 125 because 125 is a factor of 5. 5 to the third is 125, so the log base 5 of 125 is just 3. So I get 3 plus log base 5 of c. For the last one, we're going to have to use the log of a quotient rule. We'll say this is log base 4 of 14 minus the log base 4 of h to the fifth. Now again, that piece that has that h to the fifth, I probably want to rewrite and say it's log base 4 of 14 minus 5 of the log base 4 of h. Now for the next three problems, we're going to go the other way. We're going to use the rule of logarithms to rewrite each expression as a single logarithm. I'll do the first one with you. If we take the log base 6 of 7 plus the log base 6 of p, we can rewrite this using the log of a product rule. Right now we have the sum of two logs, which means I can write this as the single log of the product. I can say this is the log base 6 of 7 times p. Now I'd like for you to try the next two problems, pause the video, Work it out and resume it when you're ready to check your answers. I'll give you a minute. Alright, hopefully you've had a chance to do these two problems. The next one is subtraction, which means we're going to have a log of a quotient. This is going to be log base 3 of 2 divided by y. And that'll going to look like this, log base 3 of the division, 2 divided by y. For the last one, I've seen that we've got log base 2 of 9 plus, which means we have a product, but I've got 4 log two, uh, base 2 of r. This means I can rewrite it as the log base 2 of 19 times r to the fourth. That 4 log base 2 of r can be written as log base 2 of r to the fourth, and then we'll take that log written as a sum and rewrite it as the um, log of a product. 
Now for the last three problems, this is a different way we can use the log rules. If they give us some values, for instance, up top we're told in the boxes log base 5 of 2 is about, four point, sorry, is about 0 0.4307, and the log base 5 of 3 is about 0 0.6826, and we also told the log base 5 of 7, I can use those values to solve for other numbers. And the way I'm going to do that is to t set it up as either a product or as a quotient. Now for the first one, I'm going to try to make 28 using either 2, 3s, or 7s, because those are the numbers I know. Now I can also use whatever the base of the log is, and I can use any factors of that base. So because we have log base 5s, we can use 5, 25, and 125, because those are uh, problems that we do with log base 5, I'll be able to find the answer. Now for the first one, I've got log base 5 of 28. And looking at the numbers above, I can see that 28 is probably going to be 4 times 7. But I don't have 4 as one of my choices. But I do know that 2 times 2 would be 4, so I can say that 28 is really 2 times 2 times 7, or 2 squared times 7. So I can rewrite log base 5 of 28 as the log base 5 of the product 2 squared times 7. Now using the log of a product rule, I can say that this is log base 5 of 2 squared plus log base 5 of 7. Now I can also simplify that a little bit because I've got that 2 squared, I can use the log of a power rule and bring that 2 in front. And I can say this is 2 log base 5 of 2 plus log base 5 of 7. And again, there's different ways to do it. If I do it like this, now I'm ready to substitute. I know from above that the log base 5 of 2 is about 0 0.4307. I can substitute that in. And from above, I can see that the log base 5 of 7 is about 1.2091. And I'll substitute those values. Simplifying, multiplying the 2 times the 0 0.4307 and adding 1.2091, I get that it's about this. The log base 5 of 28 is about 2.0705. Now when you do a problem like this, there's a good way to check your answer. If you take a calculator and go 5, raised to the 2.0705, it should come out with something that is very close to 28. So it's a good way to check your answers if you're done, and especially if you're not sure. Now the next one I see that we've got a log of a quotient. So I know at some point I'm going to be doing some subtraction. I see that I can do log base 5 of 3, on the bottom, that I got it value for, it's about 0 0.6826, but that 14 I don't have. Again, I only know 5, log base 5 of 2, log base 5 of 3, and log base 5 of 7. However, I know that 14 is 2 times 7. So what I really have is the log base 5 of the product, 2 times 7, divided by 3. So when I set this up, I'm going to go log base 5 of 2, plus log base 5 of 7, and then I'm going to have to subtract that log base 5 of 3. It'll look like this. Again, I'm adding the pieces that have the numbers up top, the 2 and the 7, and I'm subtracting the piece that has the 3 because that's the uh, bottom piece or the denominator. Substituting in what I know, and then simplifying, I'll get this for my answer. It's about 2.7712. Alright, at this point what I'd like for you to do is try that last problem, and then pause the video. When you're ready, resume it and check your answer. I'll give you a minute. Well, that log base 5 of 16, I'm going to have to use something as 2 to the sum power. Well, I know that 2 to the 4th power would be 16, so I can say this is log base 5 of 2 to the 4th, or log base 5 of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Divided by, well, the 21 is going to be 7 times 3. So it'd probably look like this. Splitting it, I'm going to say that it's log base 5 of 2 to the 4th, or better yet, it's 4 log base 5 of 2 minus the log base 5 of 7, and then minus the log base 5 of 3. That log base 5 of 3 is subtracted because it's also on the bottom. The pieces on the bottom are the pieces that are subtracted. If I substitute, and then simplify, I'll get that the answer is about negative 0.1689. Alright, I hope this video helps you to understand the log properties, and thank you for watching.